Welcome to the Benefice of Bisley. We are five parishes in the Cotswolds comprising of Bisley, France Lynch, Oakridge, Chalford and Buttered of Eastcombe. We're pleased to welcome you to our Advent Sunday lighting of the Advent Ring service in All Saints Church. We hope it will be a blessing to you. In Advent, we look forward, but not just to our yearly remembrance of Christmas, the first coming of Christ as a baby in Bethlehem. The original message of Advent often gets overshadowed or even completely neglected. This is the Advent that celebrates and looks forward to the second coming of Jesus at the end of time, when he will come in power and glory to judge the whole world. Jesus himself spoke of his second coming and said it was not to be feared, but longed for, as a time when all things will be united and perfected in heaven, and when God's kingdom will finally come. In this service of light, may we begin the journey of Advent. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through him all things were made. Without him nothing was made that has been made. In him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. Jesus Christ is the light of the world. A light no darkness can quench. Let us give thanks to the Lord God. He is worthy of all thanksgiving and praise. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, eternal creator of day and night. Now as darkness has fallen, 
Hear the prayer of your faithful people. Wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. May we live in watchfulness as we wait for the coming of your Son, Jesus Christ, who will judge the world and all its works. Rouse us from the sleep of sin and make us ready to enter your kingdom where songs of praise forever sound. For you are the true light who lightens everyone and the new heavens and the new earth join to sing your praise now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. A reading according to the Gospel of Mark. But in those days, following that distress, the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light. The stars will fall from the sky and the heavenly bodies will be shaken. At that time, people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory. And he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Now learn this lesson from the fig tree. As soon as its twigs get tender and its leaves come out, you know that summer is near. Even so, when you see these things happening, you know that it is near, right at the door. Truly, I tell you, this generation will certainly not pass away until all these things have happened. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Be on your guard. Be alert. You do not know when that time will come. It is like a man going away. He leaves his house and puts his servants in charge, each with their assigned task, and tells the one at the door to keep watch. Therefore, keep watch, because you do not know when the owner of the house will come back, whether in the evening or at midnight, or when the cock crows, or at dawn. If he comes suddenly, do not let him find you sleeping. What I say to you, I say to everyone, watch. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, God of our ancestors, to you be praise and glory forever. You call the patriarchs to live by the light of faith and to journey in the hope of your promised fulfilment. May we be obedient to your call and be ready and watchful to receive your Christ, a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. For you are our light and our salvation. Blessed Blessed be be God God forever. forever. May God, who gives us the light of his grace, grant that we may come to behold the light of his glory. Amen. Amen.